In this video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to SellerAmp and Keepa, the two foundational product research tools I use every single day that have helped me sell millions on Amazon in the past few years. So sit back, relax. Let's talk SellerAmp and Keepa and how you can get started finding profitable products ASAP. To start off, guys, we're going to take a look at the pricing on SellerAmp and Keepa as well as how to actually use them. And then at the end, I'm going to do some live product research and show you how to find a profitable product live once you actually know how to use SellerAmp and Keepa, what a good product looks like and what a bad product looks like. Let's dig in. So SellerAmp and Keepa are two Chrome extensions you're going to want to be using for Amazon online arbitrage working from home to find discounted name brand products to fill up on Amazon for a profit. In terms of pricing for SellerAmp and Keepa, they both end up costing right about $20 per month to get started right there, just using the basic version. SellerAmp, you can go ahead and get a two-week free trial on our website, selleramp.com. And then Keepa, you can go ahead and get a subscription on the Keepa website right here. Keepa is a German company, I believe, so it does bill in euros, but it does end up being right about 20 USD per month. So in terms of actually getting SellerAmp and Keepa, you want to go to the Google Chrome web store right here. The Google Chrome browser is what you're going to want to be using for online arbitrage. So you can just go ahead and type in Keepa, add it to your Chrome, and SellerAmp, add it to your Chrome. And then once you go to an Amazon product page, once those Chrome extensions are actually in here, now you're going to be able to see the SellerAmp Chrome extension over here on the right or you can go ahead and move it over however you like. And then scrolling down here and taking a look at the Keepa Chrome extension right here. So starting off taking a look at Keepa right here, when you initially get the Keepa Chrome extension, it's probably gonna show these three different graphs right here. It might actually not show the third one. If it doesn't show the bottom chart, then you need to go here and hit graph settings and then make sure to select offer counts and ratings right here. When you first initially see these three charts right here, I would personally recommend going ahead and clicking sub ranks right here in the top right to take away that middle chart right here. So now we only display the top chart and the bottom chart right here. Now, the cool thing about Keepa is it shows how well a product's done on Amazon ever since it was added to Amazon's catalog right here. But when you're a beginner seller, you're just buying test orders of different products, five to 10 quantities of different items. So just focus on the three month data right here by just going ahead and clicking three months. Now the top chart shows the demand, aka the sales rank and the price action over time. Sales rank is how fast a product sells. Just make sure that you understand the lower the sales rank, the better. So a 1K rank sells better than a 10K rank, which sells better than a 50K rank, so on and so forth. But as a beginner seller, focus on staying below a 200,000 sales rank. And then the buy box price is the buy it now option on Amazon, aka this pink line right here. So if we scroll up, we can see the buy box, add to cart option. This is where we want to be as sellers. Luckily, Amazon rotates the buy box to everyone that's priced competitively and has their inventory fully checked in. So the big green flags and keep a charts we want to look for, guys, is a good sales rank over time. So making sure this green line is consistently below a 200,000 sales rank. And then the buy box price, the pink line, either stable or going up, which we can see in this case, this one's going up. And then we can see getting into September, it's going up to like 30 and then late September here at like 35. And then the competition, AK the new offer count is the bottom chart right here, which we can see is nicely trending down. It was like 10 sellers in July, then like five to seven sellers in August. And now it's around like two to five sellers throughout September. So no wonder the price has gone up right here. I get asked all the time how much competition is too much competition on a specific product. Truth be told, it's all about the trend. There's amazing listings that have 100 sellers that just sell 10,000 times a month. And there's terrible listings that have eight sellers because they had two last week and the competition shooting up right here. So that's a nice example of a good Keepa chart. Here's an example of a bad Keepa chart right here. This product, if we scroll down, we can see the competition shooting up. It's gone from like 10 to 12, all the way up to like 20, 21 right here. And the price is shooting down. It was like 18 bucks in mid-September. Now it's like 14 and that trend's probably gonna continue. So this is an example of a bad Keepa chart you totally want to avoid. Then taking a look at this product right here, we can go ahead and take a look down here on the Keepa chart on this item. You always want to avoid listings where you can see a really sharp decline in competition, like literally in one day. That's an example of an IP complaint. So if we scroll through on this Keepa chart, we can see that happened back in May 2024, 
where it had like 26 hours up to 25 and then it just literally just went to zero basically in one day. So this is the type of product you want to avoid right here, not based on the trend, but based on that it has an IP complaint right here. So red flags on Keepa charts are these start drops right here in one day, IP complaints, as well as examples where you can see the competition trending up and the price trending down. So that's totally the types of products you want to avoid. An example of a good item right here is this nice one that's flowing along nicely right here, right there. Now, other features of Keepa I like are the data product details section. I don't use this a ton, but you can see some nice averages right here on the sales rank, as well as the buy box price and who's getting a lot of buy box share over time. I don't use this tab super often. The data offers tab right here, a lot of newer sellers like, Personally, I think this tab's really inaccurate. I wouldn't recommend worrying about it right here. The sold 30-day data, it gets a little screwed up when people set what's called maximum order quantities on their products. So I would recommend avoiding those. The buy box statistics right here is incredibly helpful to see who's winning buy box at what average price over time right here. You can go ahead and filter to last one to see who's last one in. You can see who's won most of the buy box right here. And you can see who's won it at the highest price as well. So I'm a big fan of the data buy box stats on Keepa as well. Quick interruption from the video, guys. If you love this content and want personalized one-on-one -on -one help directly from me to get started selling and profitable prior to the holiday season, take a look down below at the link in the description for my coaching program application. I have an insane amount of student results. We'll pop a whole bunch of them up on screen. All of those case studies came from my coaching program. So if you're serious and you want my personal help starting and growing your Amazon business the right way, take a look down below at the link in the description for my Coach program application. Back to the video. So that's the basics of Keepa. Now let's take a look at how SellerAmp works. Taking a look at that same Tommy Hill figure listing right here, we can go ahead and use Keepa to see how well a listing sold over time and SellerAmp to tell how profitable it is today. When you sell stuff on Amazon, obviously there's Amazon fees, there's shipping, there's product cost everything like that. And that's where SellerAmp comes in doing the heavy lifting and making sure you don't have to do a bunch of mental math on your own. So SellerAmp's profit calculator right here already takes into account all the shipping, the sales tax, the Amazon fees, the product costs once you add it in and everything like that. So taking a look here, we can see this listing is buy boxing for $35 on Amazon. Over on the Tommy Hilfiger website, that same V-neck t-shirt's going for $16.99. And if I scroll to the bottom of this retailer here, guys, I can see literally from the Tommy Hilfiger website, there's also a 20% email coupon. So now plugging this in on the Seller Amp Chrome extension, I can see $16.99. Shipping from the supplier to you is almost always free. Shipping from you to Amazon is already factored in on the Seller Amp calculator right here. I can go ahead and do math within Seller Amp and take off this 20%. And now this becomes $11 profit and an 83% ROI. But how do you know this listing actually sells? Well, that's where sales rank comes into play. So we can see comfortably under that 200K rank, comfortably above 30 estimated sales per month. So basic winning product research criteria guys to write down is under 200K rank, above 30 estimated sales per month, $3 plus profit per unit and a 30% plus return on investment. And remember guys, that's after shipping, fees, sales tax, literally everything right here. Now I can see there is a suspected IP alert here, but if I take a look down here at the Keepa chart, I can see there's no examples of those huge drop-offs in offer count right here, AKA competition, like we saw on that other item right here. So if you see the suspected IP or the suspected private label, don't automatically avoid those items. If it's an IP alert suspected, go ahead and see if the Cape chart's actually shown in that brand. And if it's suspected private label, which automatically shows just based on low competition, you need to check if the brand is dominating it. But we can see in this case, there's obviously a bunch of third-party sellers right here. So taking a look down here at ranks and prices on SellerAmp, we can see some of the different averages for this product. The buy box current, we can see a 30-day average, 90-day average, 180-day, et cetera, right there. You get a lot of that just from the profit calculator right here and see the different alerts on this product in respect to Amazon sharing buy box, private label, IP analysis, et cetera. You can also see a mini Keepa chart here. I spend a lot of time on this, especially when I'm doing retail arbitrage using the SellerAmp mobile app, which is included in your SellerAmp subscription. So when you get a two week free trial of SellerAmp, not only do you get the Chrome extension access, on your computer, but you also get the retail arbitrage app on your phone for scanning products in store. This is really helpful, especially doing retail arbitrage here. The profit calculator, you can see a detailed breakdown of the cost price, ROI, maximum cost right here, and all the fees that go into a specific product right there as well. You can also see the variations on a specific product, so what different colors and sizes are offered right here, 
as well. You can go ahead and see the discounts that are offered here too. You could go ahead and plug in a discount to see how that affects the profit as well as the offers on a specific product. More on this a little bit later. And then you can also, this is a huge mistake I see beginners make is all the time when you're doing product sourcing, which we're going to do in a sec here, they'll find leads that are almost good, but they're out of stock. They'll find stuff that is not good today, but is good historically. You can go ahead and add that to out of stock, almost good in different Google Sheets on Selleram to actually organize these leads for the future. And that's super, super helpful to go ahead and plug those in and actually organize items you find that are good but they're out of stock or that are almost good today, but are very historically good that might be better for the future, especially with the holiday season coming up. So that's the basics of SellerAmp in respect to product analysis right here. What you also want to use SellerAmp for is basic product research. So a lot of beginners think the best way to find stuff as a beginner is to go to random websites and look through their clearance sections. That's called manual sourcing. I would never recommend doing that. There's also some like BS automated tools that are kind of like get rich quick schemes in the Amazon world. Don't worry about those. Just use seller and keep up. Automated sourcing doesn't even work in 2025. What makes the most sense, guys, for beginners? It's what's called the storefront stalking method. Looking inside the storefronts of competitors, literally starting out on winning products you see on my channel, then going ahead and storefront stalking off there, finding sellers we know are making lots of profit, aka that have lots of reviews. Don't worry about reviews in terms of competing for buy box share. They don't really matter, but reviews are a great way to gauge good sellers storefront stock. So taking a look here, we can see the different sellers that carry this product. And I can see, yeah, with three reviews, not going to worry about them. 1,900 reviews, we can totally take a look at that right here, right? 1,500 reviews, we can totally take a look at that right there as well. And then prior to hopping into that, guys, on listings where you can see lots of different colors and sizes, I get asked all the time, how do you tell the best variations on a specific product? And the cool thing is, every variation has its own unique keep chart. So if I go ahead and update this to size medium, I'm going to go ahead and see the medium keep chart right here. It goes ahead and updates right there. So now we can go ahead and take a look at some sellers off this one too here. Same profitability here. If they got lots of views, yes, yeah, same sellers make sense right there, but then that seller there, right? So we can go ahead and open these guys up. And now we can see instantly inside their storefronts, all the brands they carry. So we're getting other ideas of reseller friendly brands and all the categories they carry here. And all the items that show up at the front of their storefront are their best selling winning products, the items that sell the fastest, right? And it's like, okay, how do you know which listings to actually open up? The ones that have the good sales ranks that Amazon isn't on, the ones Amazon is on, I would recommend avoiding as a complete beginner. The way I like to do it is I go ahead and click brands I like to sell. So for example, Jockey, Jockey's gated, you can get on gated nice and easy. I have an ungained tour on my channel here. Same with these other brands. So for example, like 91K rank, we can go ahead and take a look right here. 30K rank, go ahead and take a look right here. Don't be afraid of ungating as a beginner. The full tour on my channel, it's nice and easy. We can see 427K rank, I don't like that. And that's the great thing about storefront stocking, guys. Say we take a look like Nautica listings, is all these listings I know people are making money on. So for example, 170K rank, let's take a look at that. 77K rank, let's take a look at that here, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't be selling them. 47K rank, let's take a look at that here. And now come these listings right here, I can go ahead and see the different colors and size that are being sold right here. A little pro tip for those of you guys that are still in this video that are really serious about the stuff is you can go ahead and use the variations tab on Keepa to navigate these. So if I go down to variations on Keepa here, I can go ahead and organize my comp similar to this. That's really, really important that you go ahead and organize your comp similar to this. And then I'll go ahead and filter top to bottom by buy box. And then I'm gonna look for good offer count movement. So good movement, not blockiness on the offer count movement, AKA the competition. So we can see blocky right here. I don't like that. Nice and movement right here. I like that. So 36 right here. In order to be profitable, we typically have to pay about half or less of what we can sell a product for on Amazon to make money. Then we literally just go ahead and once we find good Amazon listing storefront stocking, we just go ahead and search for product title on Google right here to see what websites actually carry this product. So we can see yeah, these stretch boxers right here. Let's see, is that color on here? Okay, let's see. Are any of these guys going for you know 30 plus right here? Let's see. Yeah, 35 right here. Okay, so let's see. JC Penny's right here. So taking a look here, yeah, blue, true navy right there. So we can see, yeah, taking a look here. So these are $16.19. So plugging in right here, $16.19 right here. We can see that's nice and profitable. $7 profit, 46% ROI right here. But then I need to go ahead and check the keep a chart if this actually sells. So we can see this is a slower mover right here. There's not a ton of movement in the offer account right here. So even though this is profitable, I would actually probably pass on this product here. 
no problem. Let's keep it moving right here. So this next one here, this next jockey product, we can see it's suspected private label and we can see the brand selling it right here. This is sold by jockey right here. So I would pass on this because this actually probably is private label right here. Unless there's good offer coming, which we can see not the case on this guy. No problem. Let's keep it moving right here, right? We can take a look at these Nautica t-shirts right here. Give a quick glance on these. A little bit slower moving right here, but we'll go ahead and hit variations, see which variations have the best movement right here. And the way I go ahead and do that is just filtering top to bottom by buy box price here and then looking for good offer count movement. Yes, yeah, so for example, like let's take a look at that. 29, do I think I could find these t-shirts for $15 or less in order to be profitable? Probably, let's go ahead and plug these in on Google and take a look. See, see these J-Class t-shirts? Yeah. So the nice thing is most brands only come from one website. And in many cases, it's the brand website, like that Tommy Hilfiger being profitable from the Tommy Hilfiger website, looking like these Nautica t-shirts are going to be good as well. Yeah, we can see it. So right here. Yeah. And there's a 15% code. So for example, taking a look here, these bright white ones here are, yeah, 13. And there's a 15% code right here, just these V-neck t-shirts. So plugging in here, $12.99. And then we can go ahead and take off that 15% right here. We can see, boom, $11 selling on Amazon for 29 right here. Historically good too. It's been up there for about the past month. That's a nice example of a profitable product that we literally found starting out on another profitable product. So now you guys can go ahead and open up from here and source from here too as well. And that's the thing. All these brand websites and big websites work for ungating too. So if you're ever worried about ungating, you just go ahead and use my ungating tour on my channel. So that's the basics of SellerAmp and Keepa, guys. You can literally get started doing this stuff. Just get a free trial of SellerAmp, get a Keepa subscription, and go ahead and start off in the winning proxy on my videos, storefront stalking to find other listings from there. And if you want personalized one-on-one -on -one help directly from me to get going, started selling and profit for the holiday season, take a look down below at the link in the description for my coaching program application. You'll get full personal one-on-one -on -one access to me, my personal phone number. We have three group coaching calls a week. I'll plug you in on all my favorite coupons, tips, tricks, and strategies, help you get on game help you find auto one gate proc sell right away from the get-go help you with product sourcing check all your leads for you and we have a one-on-one -on -one sourcing call i'm the only amazon coach that actually does one-on-one -on -one calls with all my students so if you're interested in that take a look down below at the link in the description make sure to subscribe for more i'll leave my ungating tour right here and my auto one gate sourcing tour right here so you can watch me find auto one gate products that you can sell today that are profitable that don't need any ungating subscribe for more see you guys in the next one